guys welcome back to my channel it's wangoi here and i make videos about food and lifestyle but today we are making a hair related video you guys have requested me to talk about my natural hair journey and to share the tips that have helped me grow my natural hair and look this bouncy and full and dark and healthy so today i decided to compile 10 tips that can help you grow your natural hair and you know achieve this so let's go ahead to the points point number one moisturize your hair the thing with african hair is that it tends to get so dry i don't know what the science behind that is but it tends to get so dry so the trick is to keep your hair moisturized by spritzing some water and some oil to keep it fully moisturize do this a few times a week and you will start to notice that your hair is softer your hair is you know bouncier and it's healthy tip number two low manipulation this is one of the things that people assume and you know don't practice you shouldn't like manipulate your hair too much avoid combing it too much avoid you know plating it you know in stressful tight hairstyles avoid uh you know having to manipulate it too much just avoid it just you know wash your hair do your flat twists and that's it and this brings us to point number three protective styling so protective styling is not what people think as protective styling any kind of hairstyle that is tight on your roots is going to destroy your hair just do flat twists these are you know the kawaii lines do two strand twists just do your regular matutas and you know if you wear wigs then this is a good opportunity to grow your hair just do your lights and put on your wig but if you don't then just you know go for low manipulation protective styles point number four create a wash day routine now hmm, this is where i was struggling my hair has been through it all i went natural when i you know about four years ago and it wasn't always like this i struggled with creating a routine to you know make sure i have something that i do every other time to help my hair grow but over time i came up with one that was not as stressful as you know as people make them look like so just create a routine wash your hair at least every once week once a week or at least twice a month personally i wash my hair twice a month because you know i rarely go anywhere so my hair is usually very clean but i do that to you know remove any build up from my hair so i would you know advise you guys to you know create a routine you know with your with your hair and just have you know some sort of plan with how you wash your hair every other time consistently then you're going to see some results on you know on your hair so and not to worry i have a wash day routine video coming up right after this video so if you want to see that make sure you turn on your notifications so you don't miss on that one as well okay Tip number five, wrap your hair in a satin bonnet when you go to sleep. A satin bonnet helps to, you know, retain moisture in your hair and it prevents your ends from rubbing each other and breaking and, you know, and drying out. So uh, you can find satin, satin bonnet in stores countrywide and in my next video, I will show you how it works and how, you know, it can help you as well. So yeah, use a satin bonnet. And if you don't have a satin bonnet, make sure you get a silk or satin pillowcase. That way your hair will not, you know, will not rub on each other and, you know, the, the strands will remain moisturized. Tip number five. No, tip number six. Do not skip deep treatment. Well, I think this is where most of us go wrong you just wash your hair you just shampoo condition and that's it but i realized for your hair to stay moisturized and to you know and to grow well and to remain full it's important to deep treat your hair every other wash day so get a deep treatment and you know make sure you have a protein treatment and a moisturizing treatment so you'll use those alternatively and in my wash day video i'm going to show you how you know how you apply it and how long you stay in it and you know i hope you guys are going to learn from that so in short just don't skip your deep treatment 
Number seven, seven, <laughs> number seven, follow the LOC method. The LOC method means leave in, it means oil and cream. So for the leave-in, this is just after you've washed your hair and you've air dried it. Use a leave-in to, you know, kind of moisturize your hair. Then use an oil to lock in the moisture that you've just applied on your hair. Next, use a cream to seal everything together. So again, in my wash day routine, I am going to show you how you're going to do, you know, how the LOC method works. And trust me, this has helped me big time, big time. My hair has, you know, reduced breakage. My hair has started retaining length and it's much fuller. It's darker and, you know, my ends are not as, as frizzy as they used to be. So, follow the LOC method. Number eight, avoid heat. Now, I know we all want straight hair. You know, we all want maybe to measure how long our hair has grown. But then again, that's not how our hair is made. African hair is made to be curly, kinky, and just like this. Please avoid using heat in your hair if you have to like if you really 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 have to make sure you use a heat protectant ask your service provider or your saloonist to use a heat protectant before they blow dry your hair i have a blow dry but it's been over a year since i used it and i realized it was making my ends weak so i stopped and if i have to then i have to use a heat protectant so tip number eight avoid using heat on your hair number nine trim split ends at least twice a year so as time goes by your ends start becoming weak they become thinner than the rest of your hair and it's important to just trim them down to prevent breaking the entire hair strand so i used to think this was kind of stupid to trim my hair while i'm chasing length but then again i realized my hair would break you know from the root to the tip so i started trimming i trim about three times a year because i don't know my hair just dry my ends just dry out quickly than you know usual so I trim the ends and usually I will do a twist and if I feel like the ends are a bit dry and kinkier than the rest of my hair then I just cut them off you know it's going to help your hair retain length in the long run number 10 understand your products now hmm. When it comes to natural hair products, there are so many brands and so many products out there. But then every hair type is different and a product that will work for me is not the same product that will work for you. So first understand what your hair needs, understand what you know you need to do for you need to use for it to grow and then understand your goals. If you're chasing length, what kind of products are you going to use? If you're chasing um fullness what kind of products are you going to use if you want your hair to have you know a rich color what kind of products are you going to use but um in summary you you just need to go for the products that have the most natural ingredients as possible like just make sure you know your products have minimal chemical products and more of the natural products a natural Products to look out for in natural hair products are argan oil, olive oil, coconut oil, shea butter, moringa oil, avocado oil. All these oils are nice for natural hair, especially this kind of hair that is 4C, 4B, you know, type 4 hair. And, uh, you know, just make sure that your products do not have parabens, they do not have sulfates, they do not have mineral oils. And another tip when you're buying your product just make sure the first product the first product is aqua that is water because remember point number one we said the you know the first tip to make your hair grow and to maintain length and to make it look healthy and everything else is moisture so your product needs to have moisture and that is aqua and that is water okay 
so guys we've come to the end of our video today and i have really enjoyed filming this one it's one of those things that i have always kept on the side but because you guys requested i purpose to do this video so if you would want to know how i achieved this hairstyle leave me a comment down below and i will be happy to show you how i did it and look out for my next video which will be a full wash day routine video there i'll explain how i do everything from pre-pooing from shampooing conditioning the treatment and every other thing that i do to my hair to make it full to make it lengthy to make it healthy to make it this black and you know this beautiful crown so i am happy to share my natural hair journey and if you feel like your friend might need this video if they are trying to grow their natural hair feel free to share it feel free to like this video if you enjoyed it and as always i will see you next time bye bye